man. <laughs> All stars for four minute edition. So that's what it stands for. Super Asp Mario is a ROM hack by a Japanese community. It's not by the Vips, no. Uh, huh. Smash Bros, okay. Uh, no, actually this was organized by just uh, Japanese Mario fans uh, over Twitter of all things. Uh, includes the works of Sui and Annie Kitty, uh, for those who know what those names mean. And uh, yeah, released in 2015, as you can see down there. It is a 53 exit hack split over three, uh, four worlds. Uh, apparently it is fairly difficult fairly quickly. Uh, and, uh, basically, Rerare, the one who made the, the thread on the talk house, basically describes it as a VIP if you remove, like, the 30 or so levels that are just kind of vanilla and there and dumb and boring. So the good part of VIPs, I guess. Oh, yeah, uh, give me a second here. Oh, man, you know, so, um, naturally, you know, the game is in Japanese. I don't have any of the translation of the text. However, Leoman did provide a TXT file of the translation of the worlds and whatnot. So there goes, start with 10 lives, we got a VIP coin counter. It already feels like home. <laughs> Lakeshore Trail. Let's go. Don't know what to expect of anything. I've never played any of this, nor seen any footage. I purposefully never looked at any footage. Because I knew that this day would come. Like, I've said that I'd be LPing this uh, for a while now. This is that things keep happening. The things keep being things and being things. So I'm not going to assume any kind of liberty regarding dragon coins. I might have to do them hard style, but if that's the case, so be it. That was some extremely transparent water out there. Oh, wait, so, no, you press down and you go down through that. All right. Good to know. The water is extremely clean here. You could drink it and you would receive no notification from the tribunal. There you go. Good old green blocks. I know what you mean. Please remain who you are. Who you are. There you go. Gotta be lined up with your pipe. Otherwise you might as well go back to the market. Eat a fish that has been cooked in pork grease for 55 years. I should have just made the jump normally there. I don't know why I was such a coward. Have no excuse at all. The background is extremely detailed. You got a big old row of trees and a big old row of tiny bumps. And then the lots and lots of hills. And the clouds are sure not to make a fuss. Oh man, that's pretty weird. Oh man, who would have seen this? Uh, I thought that missing patch of grass was just a missing patch of grass. Uh, who would have thought there would be more? So, because there's coins? Yeah, it's just, it's just coins in the middle. Check out these sweet coins. Money flowing in the air. Spread across the deers in the forest. And they're gonna like it, because, you know, it's like, if you put gold on a deer, you're basically telling it, Hey, I think you're a cool guy, wanna hang out. I, you know, the, the corporeal language of animals... Oh man, play some yeah here. I'm wondering now, if the way to swallow the script, if uh, this is maybe more of a yeah game than a vip game. It's hard to tell. Uh, the trees, though. There are way more bioluminescent than I ever would have dreamed of before. I wanna hang out and do a picnic there. I'm gonna get intoxicated with the fruits of them tomorrow. This is a very pleasant start. The valley where the ghosts reside. Oh, rolls, oh, rolls. Oh, gotta climb up my leg and shake. Right there at the start. Skeleton. And a mouse, and a pumpkin, and a saw, and a bridge that's made of wood. Oh no! And I need to get under there. Because I saw there was a prize. But wait, how do you get there? Just like, not really any ground. Oh, um, I don't want to die if I can help it. Okay, you know what? Let's 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 explore a little bit more. Maybe there's gonna be like a pipe where you get back down there. Dang it! I was fooled by my own greed, and also just playing of sloppy. My own greed. 
Oh man, so there are switch palaces in this game. I hope, I take it, I interpret that. I don't know, I am... We'll return, I said we'll return. For the dragon point on underneath the bridge. It's where you go underneath the bridge. Oh. Oh. Uh, I saw the dragon coin, so I say, hey, that's probably save. Hey! I was wrong. Oh, man. You gotta keep your stuff. Alright. For some reason, I act as if that was a new construct, but... I've been watching a lot of A2MT uh, by Cubic Tom. And, you know, that... Okay, I need to find out. Yo! Oh, wow, that's even an easy jump at that. Like, it's nothing to be worried about. So, making all of a thing about something that's not at all a thing. That's what we do here at the land of the cuisine art. It's the art of the cuisine. <laughs> Welcome to Cooking Academy. We're gonna take one part bistro, one part apple, make a souffle, souffle out of it? I don't know, I don't know much about food. Well, I mean, I know about the part where they go inside my body and it feels good, but uh, that's about where my knowledge stops. Check out yeah, that ghost. Yeah, already, like, most hacks, this wouldn't be one too. <laughs> but you know what? As a somewhat experienced Mario player, I appreciate just cutting the nonsense and skipping straight to the interesting stuff. I appreciate it. Thank you, friend. The background, well, at least part of it, is taken from Ram Dozer. No, Flame Stag from X2. M M M M M M2 X2. You can see all my expert style dodging their raid into the crowd. I press up really fast because it looks pretty silly. Yes, see it's called with all the tension, the built up notions making me just rattle on what's going on on the screen, expert style. Check out that goes, it has a tongue and it flaps and that guy has cheek and the teeny beady eyes that you can't really see. These are all contributions to our society. And if you're not ready to pay the tax for it to be possible to have... Mario 3 Dry Bones shouldn't be able to throw bones, that just looks weird man. Check out the mid point! <laughs> Check out that sweet bat! <laughs> Oh boy, uh, hey there, pumpkin man. Ha having fun there? No, showing off your sweet pumpkin carving skills? I mean, yeah, if I had your abilities, I'd go out of my way to show off too. I'm, a, I'm in a weird pickle zone here. Alright, so coins, coins, just dodge everything, dodge everything, dodge everything. Ooh, mushroom. I was looking for you. Oh man, it's pickle skill versus mushroom skills. I just don't know what is gonna win out, especially since there's no pickle here. He's cheating at a pickle contest! He brought a pumpkin! That dastardly devil-like character. Alright, well, I just slipped off the platform in a stupid way, so... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah! Dragon coin collections gonna be old style. So that means that for now, just don't care. Like, okay, you can jump. Well, yeah, of course you can jump, but you know, you sh no shit. Yeah. It's that weird pause before you die. That's really awkward. What do you mean you don't write your notes in in Witch's Broth? A little bit weird. You know what? I can just go here. I was acting like a coward before, and I paid the price. Like, this is like, easy town, easy town, easy town. It's the easiest of all the town, well maybe not all the town, but it's up there. Just be careful, just be careful, the guy has a jagged mouth. Congrats. You know, just gotta do the pickled pumpkin dance. Yeah, I wonder where the yellow switch is at. Dang it. This again. Okay. It's like... Alright, exact same position as last time, except this time. <gasps> really, dude, Pumpkin Man, you're, st you're 
Oh, I don't like you. Oh, look at that. It's over there now. And it's like, as far as I can tell, it's impossible to have the yellow switch block here, right? Because I like that extra power. Dang it, I messed up the jump. Oh, come on. Mushroom. So scary. Like that jump up there, like. Ugh, okay. It's again, like the the thing just teleports right into you when he turns around. It's so dumb. What? Right. Go. Man, back here. <laughs> uh, I'm surrounded by ghosts. It's so scary. By definition, because if you look. Like, stupid pumpkin lord fart. Now he goes away. Now he's just like, oh, I guess the trick is to call him a stupid pumpkin lord fart. Like, he can't dish out the punishment, but man, call him a bit of a name. He's like, oh, that's too rude. I'm going out here. You gotta be big. You gotta be big to get the coin. Here we go. Where am I? I just got my... Why did I die? Okay. So, this time, I'm just gonna concentrate on going forward, I'm not gonna go in any pipes or anything. Uh, that's kind of in a weird pickle here. <laughs> okay, that should be good. Eh. Yo! So yeah, that's what I need, and then he goes away. So you go in here, ah, wow. Dang it! <laughs> <laughs> Could have gone real bad. Okay, wow, so yeah. Did it last minute there. So one two, huh? I mean that just goes to show how much of a menace. Oh, nice. So this game employs locks. This goes to show how freaking dangerous ghost ghost face, ghost face, ghost face, ghost pumpkin flame man is words. Before I go this, I need to find lives, <laughs> yo. <laughs> oh man. That was dumb. I'm still getting this though, but... That was dumb. I was like, yeah, I got two power-ups, so I'll be fine for the last Dragon Queen, right? Maybe not anymore. Oh boy, that that could have. That could have. Yeah. Still need like what feels like the hardest part is done. But I'm still dealing with a teleporting pumpkin. But now I'm pretty sure the worst is done. Like, because I said that, I probably just ruined everything. But, you know. <laughs>
But I mean, so yeah, like, my first go through this was harsh, but the second part, I'm done without dying. I got all the thing. Now I'm just kind of curious to see what's beyond here. So I'm gonna check it out. But, uh, yeah, like, second shot went fine. Okay. Alright. I'm regaining con- okay, and you get plot back here just without a certain giant ghost. Look at that. Check out all those cherries on top of that cake. You've just ruined that cake. No one's gonna want to eat it anymore. Good job. <laughs> so scary, but considering it's like the valley where the ghost resides, perhaps it being scary is appropriate. So I just had to mess up the first one because perfectness does not exist. And so I go out of my way to place a flaw into everything I partake in. Cause that's just what the balance of nature is. Got a pretty good vibe over this, but man, yeah, like, it's neat starting with, you know, the bar already placed a little bit higher than usual. I don't mind at all. This is Asp, this is Mario ROM hack, and this is what I'm gonna be playing in the next few days. <laughs> See you guys.